Hey guys, I'm literally just starting the vlog even though it's like midday. Um, this morning got up and I went on the, the first ride out in the morning. A slow ride. Then I went out on the second ride which was a little bit faster which was really nice. Bobby took me out. Came back and then the owner was like, no you didn't get like enough of a chance to like really gallop or anything. So uh, Bubba took me out again um, and we did like a proper gallop and it was so nice. Like, and he was saying that he's never seen um, Rooster stretch that much, like stretch in a gallop, and he looked really nice, and yeah, it was just lovely, and Rooster has a really nice gait, like it's so comfortable. Um, so yeah, I think we're just going to go have lunch now, my mum wants to have a little look in the gift shop again, and um, last night Bubba said as well that he has a friend at the shooting range, which is just down the road, so we're, I think we're actually going to go and shoot some guns, because when in Texas. <laughs> We're going to do that and then we're going to go to my cousin's hotel. They are coming with us to SeaWorld tomorrow. So they are staying in a hotel just outside of San Antonio. So I think we're joining them there for dinner. And then we'll go on ahead and go back to our hotel, which is just a little bit closer to SeaWorld. So I'm really sad to leave though. I'm really sad to leave here. The people are so lovely and the horses are so well taken care of and they're amazing. And the food is great and it's just so nice. It's so peaceful. and. Just, I just adore being around the horses and stuff again. Like, I literally don't want to leave. Like, I'm almost a little bit emotional going. Like, it's just been so nice to spend the time here. And to just disconnect a little bit. Whoa, why am I emotional? Oh, okay, bye. My uh, little rooster's a little bit sleepy now. He's the one in the back. Um, or as Bobby likes to call him, giraffe, because he's big and he's brown and white. Um, but yeah, he had a big morning. A big morning. I took him out. He's been out for three hours. I didn't ride him in the first ride. I would pop out. Wait, no, that was not Popeye. Where's Popeye? I think Popeye is like behind, like right at the back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's taking a break. So, yeah, bye, ponies. If you look at that board, so you point to the fiddly, we've the found right ourselves on a gun range. Yeah. And it's definitely it was recommended to us. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's I think we're all feeling a little bit out of our depth. We've come with a Dutch eyes. couple, um, about the same age as me. Yeah, I think it's. Oh, okay. It's all right. So I think we're feeling a bit um, intimidated, here, yeah. is that the right word? Right hand, like I mean we come up and like, like everyone's just shooting guns and, and it's so loud. And, and like the ground the literally basket. is covered in ammo. Yeah. Well, then and this guy is just like, I don't know, I don't really want to say anything bad about him because yeah, he's the one holding the gun. But he does not fill me with confidence. Shooting down? Left it up. Rather than cork it, you have to cork it. No, you can just pull it through. Okay. Alright. 
I didn't realize I got some down here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, well done. I get three at the bottom. Nine. All right. You also have five. How many billets did we have, Mum? Uh, six. How many each? Twelve. No, twelve. Yeah. Twelve. So I got nine out of twelve. That's not bad. It's pretty good. Is it filming? Mm hmm. This is my bet, the one I'm most proud of. The kill shot. Right here. <laughs> So we've made it to my cousin's hotel, but we're here a lot earlier than we should have been. Uh, I didn't see her message, but she said dinner at 7.30 and it's like 4.30 right now. So we basically, oh the door's here, we basically came in, um, hi, and uh, the people at reception were lovely. This is a very, very fancy hotel, but very. Um, but they were really, really nice. Gave us like a cool key and stuff, called their room. They were nowhere to be found. Apparently they were in downtown San Antonio, finally got a hold of them. And they were like, oh, I'm sorry, like we'll be there in 30 minutes. We can have like an early dinner instead. So yeah, but this hotel, oh my God. We're staying in La Quinta, which is like a two-star hotel. This, not a two-star hotel. So, uh, I think you just got a knife and staring at the camera. So yeah, it's gonna be a nice dinner hopefully. Ever so fancy. Here's my mum. I just went to the car to get my bag. She's waiting. Hopefully my cousins will be here soon. I'd sit here for two seconds so I can talk to you guys. Um, it's really nice here. Like when we came in, um, we just explained we're like, hey, we're not staying here. We're just here for dinner. Uh, we're trying to find our cousins, but I couldn't get a hold of them because um, I only have Wi-Fi and they were not answering their phones. So, and they told us that that was because they left their phone in the car. So it's okay. Um, but the concierge was so nice. Like she gave us a, a pass for the pool because we said obviously they have two young kids and they were like, oh, they're probably not in their room because they're at the pool. So she was like, here you go, like just go in the gate, like let yourself in and oh my God, down there, it's so nice. They have like two infinity pools, blah, blah, blah. But do you know what I honestly realized coming here after being at the ranch? And the ranch was expensive. Like I, the ranch is probably more expensive to stay at than here per night if you're looking at it per night. But you probably get a lot more for your money. Like at the ranch, you're getting three large home cooked meals a day. But yeah, it's not, I mean, the ranch is by no means run down, but it's it's rustic, you know, and you're staying in a cabin and yeah, it's a bit dusty and it's all about being like at one with the land. And I was pitching in with the horses all day, every day. Like I was mucking out, I was tacking up, I was helping bring the horses in and out, feeding them, but that's what I love doing. And it's really funny to me coming here straight after that. It seems so excessive, like it really does. It seems almost too much, like so much expense, so much extravagance and you're like, what is it really for? It seems so materialistic. And it's weird because I feel like with Instagram and social media and everything, I guess before I went to the ranch or whatever, that's the kind of mindset that I was in. Like I think if I'd come here before that, I'd be like, oh my God, like I need to go get changed. I'll get some Instagrams here, like, oh, I need to, like, go put some makeup on. And now I'm just, like, it's nice, but I would rather go stay at the ranch again. Like, if someone had said to me, choose, stay here tonight or at the ranch, I would 100% choose the ranch. And, yeah, I guess it's a nice thing to, to realize, I guess. But also, after being at the ranch, I feel super inspired to write a book. Like, 100%. I am, I need to, I know, this is something writers do all the time, like, you're in the middle of writing one book and... It gets hard because you're in like the hard slog of getting words on a page and then you start daydreaming about your next novel. But I really want to write a novel based on the inspiration I've had for that ranch because I think I can make a good one. Like some of the characters up there, whether it's horses or people, are incredible. So I'm going to need to spend some time tonight making some notes. But as of right now, we're just going to wait for my cousins to arrive. They should be here in like 20 minutes, I think. 
and then we'll go for dinner but I mean based on based on this place dinner should be nice so let's hope so yeah it's pretty fancy let's go back to my mum although it's still horse still in keeping with the equine theme of the weekend I guess Dana 21. It's, uh, it's Mexican. It's Mexican, but it's fantastic. You see the beauty Hey guys, so we have made it to our hotel that's just outside SeaWorld. A little bit different to the hotel we were just in. Um, so we're going to try and get a good night's sleep because tomorrow we're up early because we're going straight to SeaWorld and going straight to Shamu. Uh, and I'm going to try as hard as I can to film, to Instagram story, to everything. Um, but obviously it depends on the trainers and depends what we're doing backstage, whether or not I can get my camera out. But either way, it's going to be a really, really good day. So I'll see you guys then. And I'm not really sure how this vlog turned out. I can't even remember what I really filmed. I think I was basically just talking at the camera the entire time. But anyway, as always, if you liked it, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe below if you want to see some more. And I will see you guys the next time I make a video. Bye!